Okay, so this is what you'll see when you jump into Mix Universe for the first time and hit that play button. Well, actually, you'll see this. To move around WASD, uh, or you can do uh, middle mouse button and drag, and you'll see that there's kind of like a dot that shows up it, wherever I drag, and the uh, the relative location to the dot kind of controls the direction. Similarly to rotation, you can do right click and drag as well. Same kind of like dot approach. Um, and then also middle mouse scroll will zoom in and out. All of this stuff can kind of be edited and changed. So if you are, uh, if you like to invert all this stuff, you can try inverting things around. And then you can also change the scale of the speeds and everything to see if uh, your gameplay experience can be improved. So the next thing we'll go over is just kind of like basic selection and moving of nodes. And I'll start off by doing right click anywhere in the world, or you can click this button to bring up the create menu. When you're in the create menu, you can scroll anywhere to cycle, or you can hit these little arrows to cycle left and right, find more things to create. And we'll start off with this drum kick node, and we'll click and drag it into the world. And you'll see there's a drum kick pattern that shows up in the world. Yay! From here, we can go ahead and click the node to select it. Awesome. And we can do control C to uh, copy it. In the future, it'll be Control-C, Control-V, just like any other copy-paste type thing, but for right now, it's just Control-C. Alternatively, you can do Alt-Drag, which is even quicker. And then also, you can do multi-selection uh, by holding down Shift. And then you can select the same nodes to unselect as well while holding down Shift. If you want to move a node, you can hold down Control, and you'll see this little moving icon shows up and you can scroll up and down while hovering over a node to rotate a node as well. This is stuff that you can also do if you go down here to the edit menu. You can do this all manually down here with these buttons, so you can switch to the different modes, click and drag, or you can switch to rotate, click and drag. With multi-selection, you can go ahead and click multiple things to get going, and then from here, you can multi-move as well. And then if you want to rotate, similarly, and as if you were rotating a node, you can rotate and you'll see all of the multiple nodes will rotate around whichever one you're hovering over. The last thing that's really important for selection that's really useful is if I have links, which we'll go over in a moment. But if I do have links, which you'll see with links, by the way, when you're kind of moving things around, when you're close to the center of the world, you'll get these kind of really janky uh, circles going on. That's because there is a grid when you do snap on uh, down here. You'll see when you hold down control, there is an actual cylindrical grid. And this grid is kind of a, a remnant of the past and will be edited in the future. But the uh, the reason why you see those, those bends show up is because you kind of get aligned to the same type of node on, on, a, on a layer in the grid. So just keep that in mind when you're moving things around. Uh, you can avoid it just by moving over a little bit more to to not have the janky rotations. But yeah, what I was going over before is that when you do have a, a selection of nodes, you can double click any node to select the entire chain. So when you have really, really complex chains, when this is me alt dragging things around, you'll see when you alt drag, it keeps the previous links. Uh, if you want to select everything across the chain, you can select double click the beginning of it then move everything around really quickly this way. So this is a very, very powerful way to move things around, to control things. You can also kind of double click. Uh, you'll see the direction of the links are indicated by the movement. I can double click anywhere in the chain. You'll see it'll, it'll select down the chain and not behind it. So you might've saw me do this just by habit, but there is an undo redo system in Mix Universe. And to use it, you do Control Z, Control Y. If you go in here, you can do undo, undo, undo. And then this whole thing that I just had, I can undo every single action that we just did all the way back. The only things that doesn't really account for is anything that you do down here in the different palettes. Like the palette menu is kind of off territory for what for the undo redo system. Everything in the world though is pretty much captured and is undo redoable. And the last thing to mention is for focusing, you can hold down F when you have a selection to focus on a node and rotate around the pivot of that node pretty easily uh, to edit it better. This works too for multiple selections. So if you have a big selection, it'll do the average location of those nodes.